Um, first thing I want to talk about today, um, even though we kind of started off on a high note, um, this this has been news all over the week. It's been like not even just basketball news. It's been world news. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, his death, with, along with his daughter Gianna, and the seven other people that was on that helicopter that crashed on Sunday afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. It was Sunday morning, West Pacific Standard Time, I should say. Um, at first, when I heard about it, it was, I remember because, like, I was walking into work, and a friend of mine who's also a fellow journalist, he was, he told me, he said, you heard Kobe died. <laughs> I looked, I said, man, I said, I said, man, get out of my face, bro. That's some fake stuff. And I was, like, because, like, this, me even uttering those words, Kobe's dead, like, Kobe Bryant just died. Like, I just, to this day, this, we're, like, five days removed from that, from that accident and like I still can't fathom the fact that like this man is dead. He died at the age of forty one. Um a lot like I said, along with other people, uh rest in peace to all of them. Um it it's tragic. Like in my lifetime and me being only twenty one years old, I've experienced some like famous celebrity deaths. Uh, I remember when Michael Jackson died, uh Prince dying. Uh but at this age that I'm at now mortality is not, I'm not going to say it's more like evident in my mind because I'm still so young, but just the the way I'm thinking and just like what Kobe has not meant to me because I wasn't the biggest Kobe Bryant fan. I know people that are and like are real like diehard Laker fans, but it's just as a basketball lover, it's, I know what he has meant so much into the game of basketball and just as you see now that he is dead, you see what he's meant to so much, not even just the game of basketball, but just the world in general. Like, people outside of sports, like, you don't have to watch basketball. Like, it it becomes apparent that you see how much of a name that this man, or just how much of a, like, this icon this man has become in, in today's society. When people outside who don't even watch basketball, they know who Kobe Bryant is. And people are, like, shocked at the fact that this man is dead. Like, I was talking to one of my coworkers, and, like, she had her nails painted, Purple and gold. And she I asked her, I said, are you a big basketball fan? Like, did you pay attention to Kobe Bryant like that? She said no. But she was, like, just talking about, like, how, how he died. Like, how is it sad? And, like, knowing that, like, his reach went beyond basketball. And if you pay attention to him after, his, uh, after he retired in 2016, like, this man was doing more than just basketball. He went on to win an Oscar. He went on – well, it was either Oscar and me. I think it was – yeah, I think it was it was Oscar actually. It was an Oscar for his show, uh, Dear Basketball, and like he was doing more and more different type of like ventures that he was doing. Like Kobe has been, if you like, if you looked into him, has been one of those guys who just was a hard worker, and he would just challenge and do anything. He was one of those people that like, why can't you do it? Like, just you can put if you put forth the effort and work hard for it. Why can't you do it? Like this man was fluent. And language that, that, like, you wouldn't think a, a kid from Philly would be fluent and, like, just talk about. Like, this guy was fluent in Italian. This man knew Slovenian, as we saw when he was, like, trash-talking Luca at the game. Like, in other languages, like, it's just, it's crazy what this man, like, in the impact he has on the world. Or like, like I said, just not, just outside of sports, just the world in general. And to me personally, like, like, I... When I found out about that news, I was, like, just stunned. They're like, what? Kobe Kobe Bryant's dead. Like, that's not something I imagined myself saying at 21. Maybe when I was, like, 61 or 80, like, 61 years old, like, he's, what, 20 years old? I mean, that's something I would imagine saying, like, hearing about when I'm, like, really old. Like, ah, his time has come. Like, let us not forget, David Stern just died a couple weeks ago as well. Like, earlier this month, like, he just died, too. But, like, we we seen, like, he was a little bit older age. And, like, yes, he has meant a lot to the basketball world and what he has contributed. But we was, like, his death was more celebratory because it wasn't as a tragic accident like Kobe Bryant's death is. Not saying that, like, ah, we happy he's dead. Like, it's just that when you get to that age, it's like, okay. And when you have, like, terminal illnesses and you battle so much throughout life, you expect, like, ah, it's, it's, it's his time. But Kobe, he was still, like... In human life life uh, span time, this man was still relatively young. Granted, you might think like I was forty one. He was man was old, because if we think like you think when you're thirty something in the NBA, you think that's old. Really not. This man was still relatively young. 
had a lot to accomplish, and let alone his daughter was on that helicopter as, as well, who was the reason why he was getting back into basketball anyways, why we started seeing him at these games more often. Because we didn't see Kobe at these games because he retired. Last game we saw him at was his jersey retirement, which was last year. And before that, we didn't even see Kobe for real. And it's as heartbreaking like even to me, like it's like it, it it weighed on me a little bit. Cause like I said, I'm not even the biggest Kobe fan, but the fact that this man is now gone and the way that in the matter he he died, as well as his daughter, as well as the other seven people involved on that crash, like it's it's tragic. And it's it's gonna be like one of those moments that looking back from like years from now, it's gonna be like, where was you at when Kobe Bryant died? And, like, it's, I don't even know, like, how to, like, fully, like, put it into, like, words to, like, really, like, grasp. Because, like, it's still, like, unreal to me. Like, like I said, like, saying those words don't seem real to me at all. Because it's, like, how could this happen so soon in that way? Like, people said, oh, you should have never, like, rode a helicopter. You should have drove. But if you know L.A., L.A. traffic is really bad. And Kobe, there was a video that circulated around the internet, like even Kobe talking about like how he even like looked into helicopters and why he started flying helicopters because it was a quick way to get to place to place. Kobe, like I said, was a hardworking man, had a like crazy work ethic that that everybody like could could try to strive to be. But like this man was was a crazy work ethic, and he like would use it as he said to try to make time to like if he got a chance to like take his kids to school and get from, like, place to place, and he done it for years, so it's not like this was his first time riding in the helicopter, and, like, oh, it was, like, it's like it was just simple error, but, like, as people are investigating more and more, trying to find out the, the reason for the crash, it's, I don't know, it was, it's just tragic, just to say the least. Um, recently, we seen his wife, uh, Vanessa, just post something on Instagram about the death, um, and you, you, you got to imagine what she's going through right now. Losing not only her husband, but her daughter, too. And, like, just the mourning of just her and the other families involved in this. Because there was also a whole family that was on that helicopter as well. It was a, a, two, it was a parent, two parents, mother and father, and their daughter. So, I, and from what I heard and what I believe, there, they also had kids. So imagine what their kids are going through as well. And like I said, the, other, the families of the other people that was on that helicopter, how they are affected by this. It's, it's tragic, to say the least. Um, she posted on Instagram. I'm pulling it up right now, actually. And a long message I will read uh, if you haven't said it. She said, um, it's, it's just sad. It, 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 gets, it gets to me. Um, she said, my girls and I want to thank the millions of people who shown support and love during this horrific time. Thank you. For, thank you for all the prayers. We definitely need them. We are completely dev devastated by the sudden loss of my adoring husband, Kobe, the amazing father of our children, and my beautiful, sweet Gianna, a loving, thoughtful, and wonderful daughter and amazing sister to Natalia, Bianca, and Capri. We are also devastated for the families who lost their loved ones on Sunday, and we share in that grief intimately. There aren't enough words to describe our pain right now. I take comfort in knowing that Kobe and Gigi both knew that they were so deeply loved. We were so incredibly blessed to have them in our lives. I wish they were here with us forever. They were our beautiful blessing taken, taken from us too soon. I'm not sure what our lives hold beyond today, and it's impossible to imagine life without them. But we wake up each day trying to keep pushing because Kobe and our baby girl Gigi are shining on us to light, are shining on us to light the way. Our love for them is endless, and that's to say immeasurable. I just wish I could hug them, kiss them, and bless them. Have them here with us forever. Thank you for sharing with you. Thank you for sharing your joy, your grief, and your support with us. We ask that you grant us the respect and privacy we will need to navigate this new reality. To honor our Team Mamba family, the Mamba Sports Foundation has set up the Mamba on Three Fund to help support the other families affected this affected by this tragedy. To donate. Please go to MambaOn3.org to further Kobe and Gianna's legacy in youth sports. Please visit MambaSportsFoundation.org. So, like I said, we see that, like, as I read that message, 
Gianna has been, I'm not Gianna, but Vanessa has been like deeply affected by this. And like I said, she, she wants her privacy, which is completely respectable after this situation. So if you would like to go ahead and don donate to that fund and help those and that family um, who are grieving with this situation. Cause like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty tragic when you look at it and it's just, it's, a, it's, it's an impact on not even just basketball, but just the world in general. So, take a water. So, that's just my thoughts on that situation right there. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Gigi. And rest in peace to the others that uh, were on that helicopter crash. <laughs>